Ron Gunnell called about a little, about a little over a year and a half ago, I guess it was. Uh, and he broached the idea by me. And I thought, what a fabulous idea that is to be able to combine his faith and my faith and make it a show where millions of people will watch. Yeah. And, and the message that, that I take out of it personally is that there is one God. We all have these different faiths. We all have different names for our faiths. But if you get down to the core of all the faiths, it's all to give honor to our creator. And so when you have a show that takes two different faiths, pull them together into a show with fantastic music and, and the orchestra and the scenery and everything else and the message that was put out there, it just shows you that we are all children of God, that we're all brothers and sisters, and that we can all get along together if we just think simply that he always is there for us, will always have our back, and loves us unconditionally. And that's not just what I took out of the show, but really what the show is truly about. Yeah. And, you know, it's about Christmas, obviously, and the Christ <laughs> that we we celebrate in Christmas. I'd love to just to hear from you the meaning. What's the meaning of Christmas to you? Well, I think nowadays, you know, I grew up, I didn't have a whole lot of money growing up. So mm -hmm. Christmas was, there wasn't bazillion presents. There wasn't all kinds of stuff. What it was is family all come by the house, having big dinners, doing family events, uh, golfing every Christmas after church for three holes minimum, even if it's snowing in, on Cape Cod, you know, little things like that, where it's all family traditions and bring families together to unite for a single idea. It's Jesus's birthday. And what a phenomenal day that is when you think about it simply like that, instead of making just about the commercialism of Christmas, that it is our Lord's birthday and that we should give pause and think about all the things that we have in our lives because he gave his life, mm -hmm. his life for all of us. And that, that's the that's that's the message of Christmas that I think is lost on a lot of things. Mm -hmm. This show really reminds you of that, that this is Jesus's day and we should all be so grateful for the blessings that he's bestowed upon us. That's beautiful. Can you share briefly uh, just the impact that Jesus has had on, on your life? I mean, you, you're accomplished. Have you, have you, have you met my wife, Reve? <laughs> yes, she's amazing. <laughs> right. So when you think about it, if, if you give yourself to God and open up to him and allow yourself to be a vessel for him to do his work and spread his message, great things just happen to fall right in front of you. Wow. Uh, for me, the greatest thing that ever fell in front of me with, was my wife, Reve. So uh, you, you have to be open to the gifts that, that the Lord wants to give to you. Mm -hmm. And we sometimes think that, you know, life can be very difficult or things are against us or you know, I'm not sure how I'm going to get through this situation. But when you simply think about what Jesus did for us by giving himself for all of us mm -hmm. so that our sins can be forgiven, that's an incredible gift. That's a gift that people kind of forget about. But that's what Christmas is. This this is is the greatest gift that any of us could ever have. So to celebrate that at a certain time of year is, is a wonderful thing. But it's family first, me second. It's it's about the, the holy family, about your immediate family, and about the family of your brothers and sisters throughout the world. And that's what we should be celebrating. Yes. Amen. Beautiful. <laughs> I know that the, you know, in the show. Uh, I think you guys kind of delve into some of the some of the Irish tradition as well of Christmas. For those of us that are not Irish, I'm Puerto Rican from New York. <laughs> I'd love to hear same something. thing, same thing, close enough. Big families, Catholic <laughs> families, same thing. Yeah. <laughs> right, right. Uh, is there some is there some tradition that you can kind of share with us uh, that you and your family did that uh, you think is unique? Well, Traditions in an Irish household are not necessarily known for their food. So, you know, my mom, bless her soul, was not the greatest cook in the world. And it never was about the food. It was about what was around the table. It wasn't what was on the table. It was what was around the table. And uncles and aunts and grandparents and, and kids and dogs and cats and mayhem and craziness. And that's what, for me, that's what Christmas is, is truly about. Spending time with the ones that you love. Spending times with the ones that God gave you as gifts and to never, ever forget that they are gifts that he gave to you. Mm. That's what Christmas is for me. And that's really kind of an Irish tradition that it's not just about what's on it. It's what, what's around the table. And, and that's what really, truly makes it special for us. I love that. I, so I just had my first child. I know you guys have five. <laughs> 
I just have first. Yeah, I have three in heaven. So that's my, he's my miracle baby who made it. Oh, from, from congratulations. Side. And that's a great, great accomplishment. Yeah. Congratulations. Well, as, I, I, as, I, as I pass a church, so bless yourself. Well, yeah, I mean, we, we're just so great. We're, we're so excited to be able to share this with him. He's one. So it's the first Christmas that he'll be able to really, you know, understand like, hey, something cool is happening here. So we're really excited about that. Um, That's can right. Can you talk about the, the Christmas music and and just because I know the special is 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 all about music and all of that as well. Talk about that and just how that kind of uh, impacted you from being a part of this special. The music in the Christmas special is unlike any other of the specials because it has an Irish flair to it. Awesome. So as soon as I heard the Irish music standing on stage, trying to keep my composure and thinking about all the Irish tunes that I've heard my whole life, all the times I've spent in Ireland or all the times I've spent around my Irish parents and their Irish relatives and everyone is coming over from Ireland to Boston as a kid. And I think about the music of that time. When I got on stage staring out to Reveille and the kids and that Irish music swells up, I have to tell you, I had to do everything I could to keep tears from running down my face because it was such an emotional night. It was really such a, a wonderful evening to embrace the culture that I grew up with and to be able to embrace it in front of tens of millions of people who are going to watch the show and the people who were there, of the 20,000 people who were there that day. It's, it's, it's a mighty humbling feeling to be the guy who represents that for my culture. Mm -hmm. and to bridge that to a different culture yeah. with the, the amazing culture that that is there in salt lake gosh it, it was it was it's uh there are there are a few things in my life that i'll ever be part of that will move me like i was moved that night wow that's powerful speaking of of things that you're a part of i know i think what's so unique about you and what i what, when i first talked to you and i felt that way and just again i'm reminded is, you know, you're out there in the mainstream, you know, culture, you're not strictly just doing faith based content and things like that. Talk about how that's been for you just being a representative of your faith in in, in a mainstream way and, and, and also a world that's just so crazy, you know. Well, you know, it's, it's, it's the only thing that I know. Yeah, I'm not sure. Awesome. I, I'm kind of it's hard because I've had, I've done so many different characters and, and done so many things. And some of them, I play pretty, you know, horrible villains in, in a lot of the things that I do, but as everyone knows, I won't do kissing scenes. So, so I have to, I have to be the, the best villain out there. But now that Reve and I are producing our own films, wow. that all of our projects have a faith backdrop to it. Not always overtly faith based, but faith friendly in so much that, we want to reach out to people who aren't just Christians. We want to reach out to people who are Jewish or Muslim or agnostic or atheist or Taoist or Buddhist or whatever the case is mm -hmm. about how to make the world a better place for the characters that I write and the characters that I portray. Because I've certainly done plenty enough where my characters don't portray the best things in life. Mm -hmm. But as an actor, you're part of a piece. And my part of a piece was to be the dark side on a lot of things, mm -hmm. which is really interesting because that's kind of the, the, the antithesis to kind of what I am in real life. Right. So it, it's a great challenge as an actor. It's a great challenge as a man. It's also a great challenge as a, a child of God to kind of press on with the right material. And for years, you really don't have that opportunity. Now I have that opportunity because Reve and I are, are, are doing it ourselves mm -hmm. and are so blessed to have companies that support us and back us uh, and want to make more films and TV shows or reality shows or any kind of show that gives glory to him, not just uh, to just to make a movie, but to do a movie that actually gives him glory. That's our goal. And that's what we're after. And we're, we're, we're very fortunate to be able to do it. Yeah. Thank you for doing it. This world needs it. Do you guys have a, a company name, a website where we can kind of find, you know, what you're doing? Yeah, it's, 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 it's pretty simple. It's the McDonough company. Uh, you can see all of our stuff. We just started the company not too long ago. Uh, and it's, it's, it's doing really well right now. And uh, you can see all of our, our credits on IMDb, but pretty soon we'll have our own page and such. But uh, I, I couldn't be happier. I couldn't be more blessed. Oh, man, that's really exciting. I'm so excited. Thank you for that. Uh, is there anything else that you'd like to add, Neil? Uh, no, I'm just I, I couldn't be happier than to, to speak about some of 
that I love speaking about. And this show is something that we're all so proud of. And we can't wait for everyone to watch the show and, and take those messages home with them and celebrate Christmas the way they're supposed to be celebrated with family and talking about the ultimate family and the ultimate sacrifice of someone who gave himself for us. So uh, it's, it's a humbling feeling to be part of an event like this, but I, I am the luckiest guy in the world.